Hi, in this lesson we're going to be talking about installing Windows 11 on your computer. So you could either do it as an upgrade if you're running Windows 10, or you could do a clean installation if you have a new computer that you built, or if you want to just wipe out your hard drive on your Windows 10 computer and start from scratch. So the choice is up to you. So obviously if you do an upgrade, it'll keep your programs and files intact, where if you do a clean installation, you're going to have to back up all your files and then reinstall your programs when you're done. So we're going to start with an upgrade here. So this computer here is running Windows 10 Pro. It has a i9 processor, 6 gigs of RAM, which is not that good, but it'll be good enough for demonstration purposes. And let's see what we have here. We have 40 gigs free on the C drive here. All right, so there's a couple ways you could do it. So if you go to the uh, Windows 11 website here, you have the option to use the Windows 11 installation assistant to make sure that your computer is compatible for Windows 11, or you could create Windows 11 installation media that you could then burn to a bootable USB or DVD, assuming you have a DVD drive. Um, seems like a lot of computers don't have those anymore. And then finally, you could just download the uh, disk image, the ISO file, and burn that to a a DVD or USB flash drive, which is similar to what the installation media is going to do. So we're going to start with the Windows 11 installation assistant, and I'm going to show you what happens when the computer does not meet the requirements. So we'll download now, and we'll run it. Okay, so it says this PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirements to install Windows 11, so let's find out why by using the PC Health Check app. Okay, so we can see we have some uh, options here for Windows Update, Storage Capacity, Startup Time. And so we're going to do Check Now. Now it says, does not meet the uh, Windows 11 system requirements, doesn't have a TPM, the Trusted Platform Module, and the disk needs to be 64 gigabytes or larger, and it was 40 gigabytes, it says 43. And see any other requirements here. Support Secure Boot. Uh, processor's fine, you have enough RAM, has enough processor cores. So this computer is not going to work unless we somehow put a larger drive and enable TPM if it even had that option. So I'm going to fix these problems and then we'll be right back and we'll try it again. All right, we're back. So thanks to uh, using virtual machines, I was able to add the TPM to this Windows 10 computer and also expand the C drive even though it still says uh, 40 gigs total. So I purposely didn't expand it in Windows yet just so I could show you something. So if you go into disk management, this is how you manage your disk, by the way, if you don't know, the, if you don't know this. So this shows my C drive here, it has the 40 gigs, and then here's the 60 gigs that I added to it. But if I right click, I can't extend it, it's grayed out. And that's because this partition here, this recovery partition is in the way and you can't move it from disk management. But I need to get this out of the way to expand my disk to use this 60 gigs. So what I'm gonna do is use this free tool called Naubi Partition Editor, and this will actually let me move this partition so I could expand my disk. So once you install it, it's free. They have a pay for version as well, but I'm just using the free version. And I'll also put a link in the notes here so you could download it yourself if you wanna try it out. I'm just gonna right click on this partition here Click on Resize Move. Just going to drag it over so it's on this side now. And now these are touching, contiguous there. Click OK. So I need to apply the change before I could act on it. So say OK to that. OK, so that's done. So now if I go back to Disk Management, I refresh. Actually, I don't need to refresh because it's already updated right here. So now these are next to each other. So now I could right click, extend volume. I could have done it within Niobe as well. So I'm going to use all of it here, all my space. So now I have my 100 gig drive. If 
if I refresh this, so now I have 75 free of 100 gigs. Okay, so now we're going to continue where we left off here. We're going to do the installation assistant. Okay, so now you can see it goes right to install Windows 11. And it just gives you a license agreement. Now I can just click on accept and install and start the upgrade right from here. So now that I have the uh, TPM installed and the hard drive expanded, I don't get any more errors. So I can continue from there. So we'll uh, decline this for now. So next we'll try the Windows 11 installation beta. We'll download this. Okay, then we have the license agreement. We'll accept that. So it's detecting English for the language, Windows 11 for the edition, and recommended options for this. So we'll click Next. So now, which media do you want to use? Do you want to install Windows 11 on another partition? You need to create and then run the media to install it. So a flash drive or an ISO file. So you'd have to have a flash drive here to continue, or you could do an ISO file that you could burn later. So let's just pick this option since I don't have a flash drive in there in the moment. So let me just download this to the desktop. So for when it comes to creating a bootable flash drive, uh, you could use a tool like Rufus to do so. It's a free tool where you just uh, load your ISO file and then it'll make it bootable and then you could boot to your uh, flash drive. You just need to go into your computer settings and change the uh, boot order. So since I picked the ISO option, that's the same thing as going here and just downloading the ISO file directly without starting the uh, installation media. So I'm going to cancel this if I can. All right, let me close this out here. So I also have the Windows 11 DVD in my uh, drive here, since this computer has a DVD drive. So I could double click this. And so you just have a couple options, change how downloads updates. I'll say not right now for the sake of time, but I would leave this checked to download updates and drivers. Click on next, check on the PC again. Okay, accept the license. Okay, so now we have some installation options here. So right now it's set to install Windows 11 Pro because it read that this is Windows 10 Pro. Uh, keep personal files and apps, you could click on this if you want to keep personal files only or if you just want to wipe everything out. So we're going to keep the personal files and apps. So we'll click on Accept here, Next. All right, this is going to take some time to install, so I'm going to be uh, pausing it so you don't have to sit here and watch the whole thing during the waiting period. Okay, so now we're doing our first reboot here. Okay, so now we're doing some updates, so this will take a little while. You can see at the bottom it says your computer may restart a few times. Okay, so the updates are done. Now we have a login screen. So now we have the same user accounts that we had when it was Windows 10. Same PIN number. So we'll try logging in here and we should see our Windows 11 desktop. So now the first time you log into your new uh, version of Windows here, even if it's a uh, Windows 10 or if it's a clean installation, even if it's an existing uh, user that you had before, it still have to set up your profile, so you're going to have to go through this screen, which takes a few minutes as well. Okay, so now we have our Windows 11 desktop, and you could see it actually kept the uh, color scheme from Windows 10. It didn't put the uh, default 
Windows 11, you know, with the lighter gray taskbar and the uh, bloom uh, flower background. So that's kind of nice if you wanted to keep with your uh, current theme here. So you can see we have all of our apps here. We have our Windows 11 settings. Should have all our files intact. There are new icons for our folders. All of our user folders, so everything looks good. So that's how you do a Windows 10 to Windows 11 upgrade, like I sh like I showed you before. You know, there's a few ways you could go about it, but you'll you know either way you do it, you're going to end up in the same place here. Mm -hmm.